So here is the start of another mixed media project. I had quite a few bags left over from doing my shopping, so I decided to do something with them. The bigger one, I glued two of them together. The smaller ones, I opened them all up and I sewed on there with the machine. Then I got some, um, not exactly cardboard, it's, but it's a thicker paper. I'm going to use that to reinforce what will become the cover. Who knows where this will end up. Now I have started some gluing. Just random things to start doing like backgrounds. And then I'll just get inspired from there. I think this one is finished. This was the cover of a block of watercolor paper and I just kind of extended their bouquet. First I just sewed, then I put some white acrylic and then I used my stabilos, the woodies, to continue the design. I've done the cover of the book with some acrylic paint blue. Then I took a Kleenex and dabbed on some white paint over top of that. Then put out the letters from paper bags, of course. The inside cover is done like I did the inside of the back cover. I kept this part that was originally there and um, the same expanded on the same motif. Doing my own watercolors here and here. And the first page is also done. I think this might be kind of a motto for the book. Do something with what you have. I used material, a stamp from an envelope. It has Chanel number 5 on it. And some red checkered things which I had a previous series going. Do something with what you have. It can be applicable in several domains of life. It's kind of like the parable of the talents. Especially in these times when many populations are being oppressed and imprisoned for illogical reasons, we have to keep on doing something with what we have. So I think this page is finished. Fruit et legumes fruits and vegetables on all plates. I used tags from when I went to the store. Somehow the ink disappeared after I used the acrylic gel medium to glue them on. I used this little thing left over from a crochet thread to make the rounds. Then I drew on the doily effect. Somebody at the store when they programmed the machine, they wrote red meat like I read a book, so I had to correct that. Moving on. Some pages are totally not finished yet. Can you turn them? Here's a base of a page, but the glue came through, so I'll have to do something about that. This was an experiment with orange and blue, thinking maybe it would make purple, but of course orange and blue actually make brown. But let's see what comes of that. A background made from photos I took of uh, the traces that water leaves on the windows. This is a page in progress. Maybe this page is done, I'm not sure. I did a couple of watercolor sketches from Flowers in the Garden. The base of the page is from one of these packages of sample papers. I used the envelope and of course some of the papers. I finally realized I need to use some plastic liners behind the, what I'm working on so as not to get so much of a mess from one page to another. So I have, still have quite a few pages with nothing, nothing, nothing. So I'm going to pause this for the time being as far as the video and 
put the little bits together into a part one to be continued.